Hey everyone, greetings. I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com. And I wanted to talk to you today about uh, what's going on in the sky. I came on last week and uh, gave you some insights into what happened on the um, day of the school shooting in Texas. And we've got some, um, some of these Aries energies up now with uh, Jupiter in Aries. And um, also, of course, now we have Mars in Aries. And um, as Mars is conjuncting Jupiter, and I talked last time about Mars going into Aries to join Jupiter and how those uh, were kind of some activating or triggering events for the eruption of particular energies. So certainly in the, uh, you know, in the immediate local experience uh, for the folks going through the event in Texas, it was profound and, um, uh, and just incredibly horrific and tragic. Um, and of course, in our own lives, uh, for the rest of us, uh, we've been impacted by the awareness of that event in the news, as well as other things that are going on and things that may be going on in your own life that are getting activated by that Aries energy um, with Mars uh, passing by Jupiter. So remember, Jupiter makes everything bigger. <laughs> everything that it touches just uh, has this feeling of of, of bigness and it affects our um, beliefs and our ability to trust and things like that. And um, with the uh, forward movement of Aries, we also have the energy of action, of courage, of needing to find our courage, take risks uh, and to put our uh, our own bold actions into the things we believe in, which is also Jupiter. Um, and bold action is Aries, and especially with Mars, uh, the planet that rules Aries, Mars in Aries. So, um, so we're being asked on an individual level to look at our own lives, our own selves, where we need to take action, uh, what we need to do, where we need to be bold, courageous, take risks, and stand up for the things that are important to us. And so that's um, certainly coming up for all of us. And also, uh, as we make those decisions and take action, there's this uh, quality to it that is uh, uh, not necessarily thought through, right? So um, uh, Aries is the energy of the fool and Mars is the energy of, of taking action without thinking things through necessarily. So we also find ourselves bumbling a little bit and stumbling as we find our way, as we need to just do something, even though we aren't sure yet what that something will ultimately look like or become. So that is happening. We've also got um, uh, Mercury, which just stationed direct from being uh, from its uh, three week period being retrograde and then um, Saturn a day later stationing to go retrograde from being direct. So then both of these planets, Mercury and Saturn, are in a square in the sky, meaning they are 90 degrees apart from each other in that circle of the zodiac, the wheel of the zodiac. So with Mercury and Saturn forming a square to each other, or technically Mercury is forming a square to Saturn because Mercury is moving more quickly, um, we have this energy of, uh, of, of that square being intensified um, because Mercury is stationing, slowing down and hovering Saturn is stationing, slowing down and hovering. They're coming both um, one direct, the other turning to go one, one retrograde and turning to go direct and the other direct and turning to go retrograde. So they're, they're coming into that square. They're hovering in a greater intensity as they form that square. And uh, this brings the energy of, of communication, of uh, information exchange and idea processing, which is Mercury. And then the energy of Saturn, 
which is our, our confidence, our, uh, our backbone, our foundations, the ability to plan and think things through and uh, build structures and think long term, also a sense of responsibility, a sense of duty. So we have um, this uh, act activation of these energies of how we think about things and a conflict between the past and the future for multiple reasons with uh, Saturn in Aquarius, Mercury in Taurus. Um, we have a, a sort of a clashing of the energies of where we've been compared with what we are becoming or what we can become or step into. So we're having this uh, impulse to expand into new ways of being, new qualities, rebelling against the old, and to put that into action, into creating new structures. But again, there's this, uh, with, with all the Aries energy that's up, there's this feeling of kind of bumbling through it, of trying things, but not really being sure how it's going to end up. So, um, so the best way to work with these energies that are coming up right now is to go ahead and recognize that you are bumbling through things and um, that it's good to, uh, to move. Movement is good, even if it's awkward, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it pushes you into places that you weren't expecting to go. Um, that movement, that action is really important to continue this work that we're doing to break the foundations of the old ways of being and break out of old constructs, old restrictions, old limitations, so that we can continue this work of creating the future, of laying the foundations of new ways of being, of opening to new possibilities and infusing ourselves with new ways of being that allow us to uh, navigate in the ways that we are evolving into as opposed to what we know from the past. So that's going to be awkward. It's going to be uncomfortable because it is not necessarily what we know. And that's important. That's the nature of it. So good job doing this work. We are in a Gemini moon cycle with the Gemini new moon um, from a few days ago, and that is uh, unfolding as the moon waxes toward the Sagittarius full moon. And uh, we're so we're in this moon cycle that is about asking questions, um, opening having an open mind uh, to a mind of wonder, asking questions, looking at things more deeply, inquiring, and uh, having a healthy sense of, of questioning the status quo and your own assumptions. So thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back with you with more videos. I'd love it if you can help me out by subscribing to this YouTube channel and I will uh, reward you with my best content here and keep sharing what I've got to offer about how the planets can help you navigate the times we're in and help you to uh, continue to make the most of the energies and the qualities that we have available to us. Thanks so much for watching. Check me out at astrologyheals.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.